My name is Evelyne Revalier and I'm born in France, in Paris, uh, very far from the sea. <laughs> then I made the regular studies and, and uh, discovered that all of what I wanted to do was to travel. So in order to travel a um, long time, um, I wanted to keep all my belonging with me. So um, I decided to become a, a sailing instructor and I started um, um, teaching um, children and adults um, to how to sail and I was learning myself um, and when I had the chance to buy a boat um, I took off um, and I started to teach uh, sailing around the world. Something difficult, um, something uh, maybe expensive, but you take a small dinghy and uh, enjoy with children and adults. And so I, s I was more searching for things that link people together than for things that make them different. Uh, so I was very pleased with meeting the people and, and doing a physical activity together. And then come the love for the sea and now I stay longer and longer at sea because I, some people like to be in the countryside, some people like to be in the mountain, I love to be at sea. And, um, and I keep going because I still love it and, and I arrive in India where it's not, definitely not an island. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to teach and there are many places where you can teach um, sailing again. Talking about the Volvo race, I will be endless as, again. Eh? <laughs> I would say that at first I thought, why did I stop in Cochin? I, I couldn't see the good reason. And then um, when I saw what happened in Cochin and the, all the people going, so many, so, a crowd of people coming there, not really looking at the boat, but so happy that something is happening. I was so, so pleased for the sailing um, that things were happening in Cochin. So um, I was almost proud of them <laughs> because they just welcomed them. It will be something for, for the crew of the Volvo race. They will remember that welcoming. So whatever will happen in coaching, I think people are very enthusiastic. The Volvo is, is well, <laughs> it always changes and uh, it has been, um, a, it, it is a very old um, uh, race uh, and um, things have been changing a lot and, and today I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that um, they, they, they make a lot more stopover. They, before they used to, to do a few, now they do more and I think it's good for the for the sailing um, all over the world um, because um, that make it more popular. When you're traveling uh, out, outside, when you're at sea, you're just busy with the sailing and enjoying yourself. It's your reward of the whole life. It's uh, all what you do is to be out at sea. And, um, and when you're in the harbor, like, like here, you just fix the boat. You just prepare the boat for the next go. And, and so every day you, and you have to live as well. And so you fix the boat, you go in the city, try to find the bits and parts that's missing. You meet people through that. And you talk, you meet your other fellow neighbors. And, and, and this is a big part of, of the life. And then you have to live to cook food and to carry water. 
and and um, to meet your friends around and so everything is is dedicated to the boat first then to you and then the rest uh, i would look at the weather pattern uh, mostly on internet uh, to make sure that uh, i am at the right season i'm 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 likely to get the the wind uh, the kind of wind i want direction and uh, strength so um, i have a comfortable passage and so this i get the information through the internet now before it was uh, broadcast through the radio but this has stopped <laughs> it has become old-fashioned so this is the main um, climatical um, um, security i take and uh, it's um, to know what what the weather would be like during my passage. For the rest, I'm, as I told you, I, I prepare the boat almost uh, always. And <laughs> so the boat will be prepared, so I am prepared too. It's not a big thing to go out at sea. People think it's uh, dangerous and uh, nah, it is not.